Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show how we can combine two or more macros together. That way by only calling one macro you'll have multiple macros executed. So to get started I'm first going to show what I've done already in this workbook. I have two macros, find highest column C and find highest column E. And just to give you a quick dem demonstration on what these macros are doing, find highest column C. This macro will look using a for statement it'll go from rows 9 to 43 looking for the highest value in column C. The same thing is done in column E. We have a for statement going from rows 9 to 43 looking at column E and this will display the highest value saying this is macro 1 and this is macro 2. So to give a demonstration on these macros I'm going to run find highest in column C. I'm going to click run and I'll say macro 1 the highest values in row 10 and it gives you the amount should be this value right here. And then we're going to I'm going to go back to the macros, find highest in column E, select run. And it'll give you the pretty much the same information but for column E, macro 2 the highest values in row 10 and the amount is 4,575,000, which is this value right here. And what I'm going to show you is how we can call those two macros together. And there's two ways that it can be done. I'm going to go to the Visual Basic environment where I have the macros already set up. Or you can navigate there by just going to macros and edit if you have your macros already set up. If not, make sure you create your macros. That way you can create this. In my case, I'm going to go to the Visual Basic environment. This is my first macro. And all I need to do is get the name of my second macro that I want to call, which is find highest column E. After the message box in my first macro, I'm just going to type in the name of that ma the next macro here find highest column E and so if I go to my macros now and run that first macro find highest column C here's a message box one macro one and then we select OK and then we see macro two if we wanted to call a third macro then at the end of the second macro we'll just do the same principle we'll just type after the message box next macro name and then if you were to call the macros starting with this find highest in column C at the end it would go to find highest column E and then after this code runs then it will go to the next macro that you name now what I'm gonna do next is show you how you can combine these two macros using a different method find highest in column E I'm gonna put a single quote in front of that that way that becomes non-executable code and I'm going to create another procedure and I have this module ready here but in case you don't have a module what you can do is in your Visual Basic environment click insert module and you'll have this blank screen we're just going to type in sub we'll just name this run all macros and then you just do open parentheses close parentheses and, and hit enter and you'll get the automatic end sub and all you have to do is get the name of all your macros. We're gonna, I'm gonna copy and paste, find highest column C, place that into this macro, and then I'm gonna get the other macro name, find highest column E, paste that in. And if you, of course, if you have more macros you want to add, feel free to do so. And I'm gonna close the Visual Basic envir environment. And if we go to our macros now, you'll notice we have a new macro, run all macros. Just go on and select run. There's macro one and there's macro 2. This now concludes the video. Thank you for watching.